Happy 4th of July, everybody. Holiday weekend. I want to introduce you to my little buddies here. So this here is Figaro and this is Tuxi. They're my two boys. They're always ready for lunch when I get home here. So they're especially affectionate when it's time to eat, but they're pretty good at being affectionate all the time. So I'm going to feed them and then I'll continue with my message for you. Okay, here comes food time. Just a minute, little boy. Just a minute. Here you go. Okay, you want that one? All right. There you go. Okay. There you go, boys. So they're purring away and they're happy as can be, as usual, because they like this. And I was just thinking how that might relate to us as well. But when things are going really well and the food is being dished out, we are so ready to be lovey and responsive to God. But some of the other times when we're struggling, we have a little harder time with that. So I think one of the things we can learn as we go forward is to try to be consistent in our love for God so that we show him in good times and bad, that we acknowledge him as our Lord, as the one that we're trying to honor with everything in our life. Not just when we're being fed, not just when he's giving us what we want, but as a response to his incredible kindness to us all the time. So God bless you. God bless our country as we celebrate the 4th of July weekend. Uh, may you and your families and your furry friends as well all be kept safe and happy and holy. God bless you. Bye-bye.